Dear colleagues, welcome to my hospital at Ranaghat, West Bengal, India. This is an intumescent cataract. In this case, I had to face posterior capsular rent. Let us see how it happened and how I managed the case. By this time, the main incision, one side port on the right side of the main incision have been made. The capsule has been stained with tripan blue dye. The dye has been washed out. The dye has stained only the central portion of the capsule. The periphery is not nicely stained. The viscoelastic substance that ha I have used in this case is is PMC. This is another side port on the left side of the main incision. And now I'm going to do capsulorexis. Here it is. I always do twist stage rexis, first a mini rexis, and then I enlarge it to an optimum sized one. And this is the mini rexis. This is an utrita forceps, and with the utrita forceps, I complete the small rexis. That was easy. And now, I want to aspirate some cortical matter with the help of a 23 gauze Simco cannula. I am aspirating some cortex from the capsular bag to decrease the intralenticular pressure. But in this case, what happened is the cortex which is sub-incisional just in front of the main incision which is say from 9 o'clock to 12.30 o'clock I didn't remove that cortex and there is some elevation so the capsule has been flat in other places except from 9 o'clock to 12.30 o'clock and see what happens I come to 5 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 2 o'clock and here at 1 o'clock at 12.30 it goes to periphery and I see that it has gone to far periphery and I cannot retrieve this is run out. So I make a small side port at around 4.30 o'clock, introduce a scissor through this, make a cut at around 6 o'clock, a tag is made, now I hold this tag with Uteta again go clockwise this time and remove this portion of the anterior capsule now we have a very nice anterior capsular flap and this flap will indicate whether there is PC rent or not and here I start direct chaff. Initially the anterior capsular flap is fluttering and it is everted at this time. And I know that there is no precedent. But suddenly after some time still it is fluttering and it is Everted. and suddenly I cannot see the flap and now it is inverted and I have a doubt that there is posterior capsular rent that means the rexis run out has extended posteriorly but since there is no vitreous I can see that the nucleus is rotating nicely I continued with emulsification and still even now I find that 
the mobility of the nuclear pieces is good and there is no vitreous in the anterior chamber. So what I do is I take this portion of the nucleus over the posterior capsule the intact portion and I can find that the nuclear pieces are moving still there is no vitreous in the anterior chamber. So I emulsify this portion. If I come out vitreous will come into the anterior chamber and the case will be more complicated. So I could complete emulsification of the nucleus now before coming out I inject viscoelastic substance and then I come out and now I did some dry aspiration means without irrigation just I am aspirating the cortex and I could remove fair amount of cortex still there is no vitreous in the anterior chamber. We can see that the posterior capsular rent is huge from 1 o'clock to 5 o'clock and I cannot place the lens in the bag so I am placing a multi-piece intercular lens in the sulcus and I am enlarging the main incision to about 3.5 millimeter and here goes the sensor multipiece intraocular lens. My plan is to place the leading haptic over the anterior capsular rim and I place that but suddenly see what happens as I came out the leading haptic has gone into the vitreous what to do now I take a Sinsky hook introduce the Sinsky hook through the on o'clock side port and bring the leading haptic over the iris that is in the anterior chamber and now I have asked for vitrectomy cutter. Here the irrigation is in front of the intraocular lens and cutter is behind the lens in the anterior vitreous. The vitrectomy system that I am using is the inbuilt vitrectomy system of Oatley Cataryx 3. Now I am trimming the remaining portion of the posterior capsule so that the pupillary area becomes clear of capsule. And I am doing a nice vitrectomy. My plan is not to have any vitreous strands hooking around the pupillary margin and coming into the anterior chamber. I don't want that. So after a nice vitrectomy I injected I formed the anterior chamber with irrigation used the Macpherson forceps and the leading haptic is being placed in the sulcus again.
Yes, it has gone into the sulcus. Now the trailing haptic is to be placed over the sulcus. But it was not easy. I am dialing it. I want to take this haptic to 6 o'clock. And from there, I want to go behind the iris. And suddenly I see this small nuclear piece. So what I do is, I keep the anterior chamber formed with irrigation. Ask for a Macpherson's forceps. Yes, Macpherson's forceps introduced through the main wound. Hold this small nuclear piece and remove it. Always I am keeping the anterior chamber formed, taking care not to taking care not to touch or come close to the corneal endothelium. And now this haptic is being placed in the capsular bag. Optic capture cannot be done because the entry capsule is not intact. Rexis is not intact. Now I injected air and pyrocarpine and then some canacot, that is tramsnolone acetate. I want to check whether there is any vitreous strand which is coming around the pupillary margin into the anterior chamber or not. But I find that it is fine, there is no vitreous strand, but there are some one or two strands are there still, I can see at 4.30 o'clock. So I knew that I have to go again with the cutter. So I ask for the vitrectomy cutter again. We must do nice thorough anterior vitrectomy. Could not go through this wound. So I am going through the main wound and removing the strands or seeing these strands. This is a new cutter and I could do a nice job. I'm having this precedent after a long time, say about six months or so. And this is because I didn't remove some more cortex from the soft incisional area. Now here I find that the lens is not nicely centered. So I have asked for the Sinsky hook again. I want to dial the lens and place it nicely. Yes. This haptic is over the anterior capsular rim, but the optic has gone behind the posterior capsule. Now I have brought it in front of the anterior capsule and I, I want to dial some more and place it in another location and I want to see if it is stable or not. And here it is. I find that this position is very nice. The lens is nicely centered and stable. That's it. Now these wounds are hydrated, some intracameral moxifloxacin is given and the case is concluded. This is an edited surgery but you have seen most of these steps. Thank you very much for watching. Hope this video will help you in managing your posterior capsular rents.